fire incident. Homes of two ministers were deliberately set ablaze by the locals in Andhra Pradesh. But why? According to the police, this was a way for locals to protest against the government's proposal to rename the district after B.R. Ambedkar. Thankfully, Andhra Pradesh Transport Minister Pinipe Vishwaroop and MLAP Satish were unharmed in this attack. So what really happened here? The wise Jagan Mohan Reddy government decided to rename Konasima as Dr. Bhim Rao Ramji Ambedkar Konasima District. It was announced after Dalit groups demanded to name a district after B.R. Ambedkar. After this announcement, Pinipe Vishwarupu called this a victory of Dalits of Andhra Pradesh. He also thanked Chief Minister Jagan Mohan Reddy for heeding to their request. 26 districts were carved out of the existing 13 districts in the state as part of the district reorganization drive. Some of the newly formed districts were named after prominent personalities without much credibility. But naming of the district after a great intellectual like B.R. Ambedkar was opposed. The Kona Seema district is dominated by the upper caste Kapu community and the scheduled caste. Hence, after the announcement, hundreds of people belonging to a powerful social section took to the streets and started protesting against this move. Tensions have now prevailed in Amalapuram town. Situation has deteriorated after police lati charge. Several of those people protesting against this proposed renaming of the district. In sense, protesters allegedly took to stone pelting and arson. A number of police personnel were left injured. A few buses were also burnt near the residence of Minister Pinipe Vishwarupu. A total of three cars belonging to Minister Pinipe Vishwarupu were also set on fire. Prohibitory orders under Section 144 were placed in Amalapuram. Additional police forces were also rushed in to bring the situation under control. So how has the opposition reacted? After the law and order situation spiralled out, opposition parties in the state have hit out at the ruling YSR Congress party. The Telugu Desam party, the BJP, the Janasena and the Congress have hit out at the state government over its failure in controlling the Amalapuram situation. Janasena chief K. Pawan Kalyan has lashed out at the state home minister for blaming the opposition parties over Amalapuram incident. He says, and I quote, It is nothing but an effort to cover up the government's failures in maintaining law and order. The ruling party is only seeking to push the blame on the opposition to cover up its failures. Meanwhile, state BJP president Somu Viraraju also strongly condemned the incident and blamed the government for failing to secure peace in that area. The state Congress president too, Sake Sailajanath, has blamed the government over this incident. Opposition parties also appeal to people to observe, restrain and ensure peace returns to Konasima. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.